make a bowl. You make, you make a big a bowl. bowl. Mm. Yeah. So in that case, you have more room to play with. Yes, and, and I mean, when I think about the other one, it was exactly. about that big. Yeah, yeah. So, so this one, I think, the interesting area for me is <clears throat> sort of from from here. I like these actually. <coughs> See those shapes there. That's a bit of a, a an obstacle. You can't get that. So we could kind of come sort of more or less to a point there, mm -hmm. and then coming up to here, yep. and then again you, you can't really go beyond here, can you? So yeah. so it's got to be down. From, it's got to be that sort of size. All right. I mean that is pretty pretty contoured, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Right then, so let's do it. Fast, the very fast catalyst. So um, this will probably take about half an hour just to cure, and then it can be overpainted. But you see, with um, with a very textural surface, it's a lot harder to get to get into the nooks and crannies, you know, without uh, kind of making it very thin on the high point. And try and cover as everything with a thin skin. See how it's, it's holding its own more now, it's kind of becoming a bit more gloopy. So that's why it's a good idea to get it on first, and then move it around. Yesterday evening I put another layer on and that gives us enough thickness now that the silicon will hold its own so it's now, it's now strong enough to be able to peel back from the tree without breaking up so we can get one continuous sheet of yew tree texture. I have to stop myself getting too excited and ripping it at this point because it's kind of like, oh, it's like a treasure being uh, unopened. When you think of it, this texture's been kind of 2,400 years in the making. <laughs> it's quite a thought, really. And you can really see the evidence as well of all the little twigs and branches that have grown up from the main trunk over time just become amalgamated into this wonderful texture yeah. so there it is in a, a pretty much ready-made shape for a piece of grass So what I'm doing is cutting up the raw material for the casting. This glass is fantastic quality optical crystal and it comes like this because they make it into fibre optic cable. Uh, so it's very good 
with the light, very pure. And we are cutting it up so that we can then lay it into the mould, first of all, after weighing it out. So I'm just cutting it up into suitable lengths for it to be placed into the mould. Okay, I think that's probably enough material. I've measured the volume of the mould, which is coming out at two litres. What we do is we fill up the moulds with water. And then we work out the relationship of the weight in glass to the volume of water. So now we're cleaning it in caustic soda. And we just immerse all of the glass into this chemical and it strips off any traces of um, lime scale or anything on the glass that might cause a blemish. Well, this is the mould that we've made from that silicone that we took from the yew tree. ready for packing the glass onto it. So that will just sit there now and um, I think two days time we'll open up the kiln and have a look at it and see what we've got. You wouldn't really think it was a it was a tree, would you? You wouldn't think it was a bit of a bit of an old yew tree. Looks like a lovely shape, even just as it is, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to, you know, if we can avoid doing any edge work thing, mm. it would be wonderful. No, maybe this isn't as drastic as we thought. No, it's a question of can we fit it into the mould though?
sure it'd be heavy, I must say. I mean, well, considering the, the size of it, it's quite, quite light. What do you think about here? I like it. 